position. So, um, yeah, as long as you get down the course fast enough, that's, that's pretty much the most important thing. And, uh, you yeah, you see some different techniques out there, but um, it's amazing time to get you know, to the end of the course. Everybody's pretty similar. Excellent stuff. We're going to wait for the results for the K2, but let's go on to the field for the C2. Again, five and six. We've got two Canadians, but not only Canadians. We've got the uh, the Yelmanov uh, brothers, two of three, by the way. There's, uh, there's three brothers competing here from Kazakhstan. In your picture, probably the favourites from, if you look at the form anyway, from Russia, Alexei Korovashkov and Ilya Parushkin. They, they won the bronze in the London uh, Olympics, uh, so I guess they're the, the team to beat, uh, but let's briefly, uh, not put you on the spot again, Sean, but the Canadians in lane number five and six. Yeah, we got two good crews, uh, Roland and Paul, they come from the same club, so I think they have that advantage of just a lot of time in the boat together. Gab and Ben, you know, Gab used to paddle with Ben's older brother, Andrew, and I think getting into this boat, there's going to be a lot of things that are similar, but a lot of things that are different, but those different things might be better. And it, will there be a certain uh, friendly competitiveness? Will they push each other along? Or? Oh, yeah. No, I, I think they're going to be a great C2. You know, Gab has obviously proved himself in this, and, you know, Ben, from a young age, has always been a talented paddler. And we have some very young uh, teams in here. We have Jörl Olze and Max Muller, both 20 years old from Germany. In the bottom of your picture, lane number five, instinct, lane number nine, so instinct to see what they, they come up with. And then we've got the Matthew Bunet and Adrian Barr. Uh, okay, Matthew Bunet is born in 84, but uh, Barr is only 22 years old in France. No, there's definitely a lot of U23 crews in here. This would be a great indicator for Welland. Uh, you know, if you can get a podium at a World Cup as a U23 crew, that's usually a good thing. Lane number four in your picture. I'd say these are the uh, the pre-course favorite, and it's it's not easy to medal at uh, London, uh, or is it easy to medal at, at an Olympics and then come through for the next season? Ben, you know. Yes, yeah, so it's a big ask. I mean, to be able to to deliver you know, at, at the Olympics, is, it, it takes you know, everything of your being to be able to do that, and to be able to come back the next year and still perform at this kind of level is um, you know it's, it's not easy you know some, some big names have, have stepped aside but there's still you know some big names here and there's a lot of guys coming through that are hungry and, and they see this as their opportunity to break through so um, it's, it's, it's some top quality racing here you know despite the numbers being a little bit slimmer and we do have a race on our hands it's early days at the moment but it looks like we have the Russians and in lane number five we have Vargo and Bryant uh, for, for Canada so, so it's Will they be pacing? Will they be flat out? I think right now it's just making sure they have the most efficient stroke. This is a big side win that's not too beneficial for the Russians or the Canadians. So they're just going to you know, stay in control, not waste too much energy. And when that last 200 comes, I think that's when they're going to make the move when it's more sheltered. And with the Canadians, uh, the coaching aspects, will they be have a separate team talk? So will they have a joint team talk? After the race, I, I assume they'll have a separate team talk. You know, two different crews, you're going to have two different race plans for sure. And what are the race plans? Apart from one goes out quickly and the other doesn't. Ah, jeez, I don't know. I haven't, uh, I haven't been that in depth with them yet. But uh, I think mostly is to be in control and not be too caught up with the other ones. You know, look down in the course and do your race. I think that's the best way to get this done. But it looks like in lane number six again at the moment we have uh, Ben Russell and Gabriele. At the moment, slightly ahead of the Russians in lane number four with the uh, Canadian uh, other team. So yep. tell me briefly about the uh, the Bush and the Sydney family. Uh, well, Gab is uh, jean Vieve's older brother, both out of trois Uh It's a pretty talented family, if you ask me. You know, Last week, uh, last World Cup, you know, they both medaled, so that's always a good thing. I think the only other family that did that was the Wallace family. So, Are we coming up to the, as they say, the business end of the course? Yeah, no. As, they, as, 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 as paddle rates, do they, do, they, do they have definitely, how do they split it into thirds or quarters, or how do they split the race? And the race plan? Uh, it typically, you can put it into quarters. It, it really comes down to each person. I've heard race plans where it's each hundred, you know, kind of just feel it out when, you know, it's different for each person. 200 meters to go, and we still have a race on our hands. At yeah, the moment, yep. it's Canada and head of Russia. With Poland coming through at the end, we have Thomas Katzow and Vincent uh, Slomanski, 23, 21 years old, third in second World Cup, but pulling it away. It's yeah. going to be really close. Ben and Gab look really relaxed for that first half of the race, but Roll, or, uh, Rush is putting it on right now. They're going to finish hard. They're closing a bit of a gap here. It looks like Rush, well, 80 meters to go. Canada at the moment, they're really pulling away, aren't they? This they're going to take it. Great finish. Oh, bad stroke by Russia. That's going to cost it. 
They're going to keep it together and hopefully get that silver, but Canada really just took it home. 20 meters to go. Canada cross the line first. Great finish. Russia second. Unbelievable. I think Poland's going to take third. That was, yep, Poland. Very, very close. Ben, how much communication will they have in the ice between each other? Or not? Yeah. <laughs> About every once in a while you hear it, up, oh, and that's it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, pr pretty much, um, yeah, if, if there's a call to be made, um, you know, to lift it up. But, um, you know, hopefully by the time you get to this level, you've, you know, you, you've spent enough time to give it to, to, to be able to read the situation and, and you know, respond intuitively, you know, as, as a team. Yeah. Typically you do your talking during the training and you kind of practice it over and over again. So when race day comes, you know, you just get on the water and you do what you know. So far, you're going to go. You're trying to uh, hog the medal table, almost. You Canadians. Uh, I think we. Uh, I think we picked a good World Cup to come to. I think we just. Uh, you know, we're coming out of this jet lag from coming over, and it's all clicking right now. So hopefully, we we don't get too too uh, excited, and we stay humble, and we just know what we got to do heading into Worlds. Ben, I know it's a long time, but you actually you're heading to Rio. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully, yeah. It's just taking one season at a time at the moment, and and. Been taking one race at a time, one regatta at a time, and um, try not to look too far ahead. It's, it's a daunting task if, if, I, if I look too far ahead, but I mean, I'd love to race in Rio. I think it would be amazing. And is there much strength in depth in New Zealand? Obviously, we all know about uh, Tanila Rachel in the K2s. They're coming through, and then and you have your, your, your new superstar in Lisa, but uh, is there much strength in depth? I think there's potential. There's potential. We, we, we've always had a little bit of potential, but um, we're starting to get the systems and the, and the people and support in place now where it can help those people um, to, you know, to make that step up. And um, our K4 is coming through, and I think they're only young, but it could be hopeful. Canada, Russia, Poland is the result of the C2 1,000 metres final. With Canada, eighth, I guess they'll... Uh, the